Let's talk about LMIA today and how it works. What is an LMIA and what LMIA contributes towards implied status of a foreign worker. So LMIA is a labor market impact assessment. It is an application that Canadian employer makes to Service Canada to hire temporary foreign workers. I would like to clarify that a candidate or foreign worker, whoever wants to work in Canada, cannot submit an LMIA application on its own. It, it is submitted by Canadian employer only. And Canadian employer has the right to put candidate's name or um, Canadian employer can apply it as unnamed, add the candidate's name again. Candid Canadian employer can also change the name after an LMIA application is approved on the name of a particular candidate. There are three types of LMIAs. LMIA for work permit, LMIA to support the permanent residency of foreign worker in Canada, and dual intent LMIA, which serves both. Um, it supports the permanent residency of a foreign worker in Canada, and it also um, helps the foreign worker to get a work permit. So to apply all three types of LMIA, it is not required um, that um, candidate or foreign worker must be in Canada already. However, it is more feasible and um, more easier for employer to get approved if the foreign worker is already employed with employer on a previous LMIA based work permit or on an open work permit. Now let's talk about LMIA and implied status. A lot of times um, candidates get confused that if they have an LMIA application in process and their current work permit is about to expire, they will automatically go on an implied, implied status in Canada. That is not correct. LMIA application goes to Service Canada and in order to be um, on implied status in Canada, a candidate must submit a work permit application or study permit application or visitor application, some kind of application to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. So in this particular case, if your employer has submitted an LMIA application and your current work permit is about to expire, you will not automatically go on an implied status until and unless you submit your work permit application to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. If you do not submit a work permit application before the expiry of current work permit, then you must stop working and find out the ways to keep your legal stay in Canada. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your process.